Hello kids, welcome to the lesson. Chapter 6 Art Let's start our lesson. Here are the chapter objectives. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand the following. When T sounds like SH, intonation, Noun or verb, tenses, future perfect tense, martial arts, and about Leonardo da Vinci. So children, let me ask you a question. Does English seem difficult sometimes because the way a word sounds is often not the way it's spelled? Can you think of some examples? Okay then, today we are going to consider some English words with Latin roots. In terms of spelling, what do these words have in common? In terms of spelling, what do these words have in common? Look at the words. Listen to me carefully children. Election. Cautious. Patient, election, cautious, patient. Did you find the answer? Right. Each word includes the T-I letter combination. Look at this. Election, cautious, patient. So you can see each word includes the T-I, letter combination. Not that, in each case, the T of the T-I combination does not produce the T sound. In each case, the T of the T-I combination does not produce the T sound. So children, tell me, what is the same about their pronunciation? What is the same about their pronunciation? Each word has a SH sound produced by the TI. Each word has a SH sound produced by the TI. Okay, now tell me, what is the difference about their pronunciation? What is the difference about their pronunciation? Pronunciation. Right. Each word has a different ending. Each word has a different ending. Look at this. Shun, shus, shunt. These words represent groups of words that have a silent T. These words represent groups of words that have a silent T. And a TI spelling combination that produces a such sound. And a TI spelling combination that produces a such sound. Are you ready for a small test? So children, go through the conversation in your pupil's book page number 60. You can find the highlighted words like expression, national, specialist, Finnish, fashion, etc. Did you hear the sound SH? Now listen to me carefully children. I'm going to tell some words. Dictation. Decision. Correction, special, discussion. Each of the words has the sound, SH, represented by different letter combinations. Each of the words has the sound, SH, represented by different letter combinations.
So you have learned this SH sound. Below I mentioned the activities. Complete the following activities. Okay, children, look at the activity following your previous book and read the highlighted words. Read the sentences mentioned in activity 4. Ravi went into his study to study for his bar exam. The word study has different functions. What are they? A noun, a verb. Go through your book, read the sentence. Ravi went into his study to study for his bar exam. The word study has different functions. What are they? A noun, a verb. Here today we are going to learn intonation, noun or verb. Knowing when and where to stress the words you use is very important for understanding and is part of a good accent. A clear example is that if the different stress is nouns and verbs. Here is an example that will get you thinking and give you some practice in identifying it and using it correctly. Usually, the stress of verb is on the last syllable and that of a noun is on the first syllable. Usually, the stress of a verb is on the last syllable and that of a noun is on the first syllable. Look at this word. Present. First of all, tell me, Jura, do you know what stress means? It's one of the most important pronunciation points in English. It is one of the most important pronunciation points in English. When you speak English, do other people find it difficult to understand what you are saying? If so, you might not be using stress correctly. So, in this lesson, you can learn about syllables and stress in English. Look at this word. To present. What is the meaning? To present meaning to give, to introduce, to give, to introduce. A present meaning a gift or now. Okay children, look at this. Now you do the rest of the table. Underline the accented syllable and defining the word to emphasize your understanding that the accent goes with the meaning. You have to underline the accented syllable and defining the word to emphasize your understanding that the accent goes with the meaning. Okay, let's have a look. The different intonation of the noun and the verb. You need to insert a paragraph here on this newspaper insert. I would like to present you with this present. How can you object to this object? The manufacturer couldn't recall if there had been a recall. Every morning, I get water from the well and water the plants.
So here we are going to do most important part in our English grammar tenses. It's very important lesson. First of all, let me ask you a question, Jurev. How many tenses in English language? How many tenses in English language? There are twelve tenses in English language. How many tenses in English language? There are twelve tenses. Okay, look at this chart. You know the what are the twelve tenses? Simple present tense, simple past tense, simple future tense. Present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. Present perfect tense, past perfect tense, future perfect tense. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. These are the twelve tenses. So. Today I am going to explain future perfect tense. Look at this. Future perfect tenses. Can you see the formation? Will or shall with have with past participle. Will shall have as example will shall have done. Future perfect tense. The future perfect tense is quite an easy tense to understand and use. The future perfect talks about the past in the future. The future perfect talks about the past in the future. And also, it expresses the idea that something will occur before another action in future. It expresses the idea. That something will occur before another action in future. And also, it shows that something will happen before a specific time in future. It can also show that something will happen before a specific time in future. Look at the structure of the future perfect tense. Subject, auxiliary will, auxiliary have, main verb, will have, past participle. So, how do we make the future perfect tense? How do we make the, the future perfect tense? Okay, how can, how you can see the structure of the future perfect tense? Look at this. The first auxiliary verb will is invariable. The second auxiliary verb is invariable in base form have. The main verb is invariable in past participle form ed or auricular. For negative sentences, we Insert not after the first auxiliary verb. For questions sentences, we extend the subject and the first auxiliary verb. Let's see the example words. Okay, here are the examples. Look at this chart properly. No subject, auxiliary verb, main verb. So what what is the first example? I will have finished by 10 a.m. You will have forgotten me by then. She will not have gone to school. We will not have left. Will you have arrived? Will they have received it? Examples for positive. Look at this, children. By 6 p.m. tonight, these are the sentences. You will have finished this book. I will have finished this book. 
You will have studied the English tenses. She will have cooked dinner. He will have arrived. We will have met Jolly. It will have stopped raining. They will have left Japan. Study these sentences. Okay, here are the negative examples. By next week, I will not have finished this book. You will not have finished this book. You will not have studied the English tenses. She will not have cooked dinner. He will not have arrived. We will not have met Julie. It will not have stopped raining. They will not have left Japan. Let's see how to make the yes no questions. Will I have finished writing this book? Will you have studied all the English tenses? Will he have got married? Will it have got called? Will they have left their jobs? So these are the sample sentences. Let's see WH questions. When will I have finished writing this book? Why will you have studied all the English verb tenses by tomorrow? When will she have been here three weeks? Why will it have got, got called by me? So children, let's do this activity. First of all, read the sentences carefully. Then underline the or write the correct answer. Read the sentences carefully and complete this activity and also you have to complete all the activities in your previous book and workbook. Is this children Leonardo da Vinci? Why his name is still so well known? Who was he and what did he give to the world? So go through your activity 7 in previous book, page number 6 to 7. Devanchi is known in the world as an exceptional artist, mathematician, inventor, writer, etc. His knowledge of science and nature is believed to have greatly influenced his work in different fields. The world famous paintings such as Mona Lisa, The Last Super are among his great works. So children, you may find some more information about Leonardo da Vinci. Okay children, this is the activity in your previous book, Martial Arts. A traditional form of art found among different nations in different styles. This is practice for self-defense, mental and spiritual development and sometimes for law enforcement. There are some forms of different types of martial arts you can see. And there is one thing, Angampara is known as the indigenous fighting art in Sri Lanka. So you can go through your activity aid and have a knowledge about martial arts. Okay, Sharan, what did you learn today? You have learned sounds like SH, intonation, tenses, future perfect tense. So you have a great knowledge about these things. Children, I'm going to wind up this lesson. Thanks for watching. Do your studies well. See you later.